This is a cell in Mila's brain. And this is a lysosome, which breaks down the cell's waste. But in Mila's cells, the lysosomes aren't working, and they start to fill up. The cell tries making additional lysosomes, but it eventually becomes overwhelmed and dies. It turns out the culprit is a mutation buried deep within Mila's DNA that affects the lysosome proteins. To make a protein, the cell uses its DNA as a blueprint to make RNA by splicing together the essential bits of code. The cell machinery then reads the RNA to build the protein. But in Mila's RNA, a misplaced piece of genetic code has thrown off the splicing process. So when the cell's machinery comes to assemble the protein, it's halted by the misplaced code and the produced protein is defective. Thus, Mila's lysosomes can't function properly. Researchers at Boston Children's Hospital have designed a special drug just for Mila. It's called Milicin. The drug hides the mutation in Mila's RNA with a new piece of genetic code. This allows the RNA to be made correctly, which lets the cell produce normal proteins. The lysosomes can now take out the trash, and Mila's cells stay healthy.